I salute us once again in the course of our nation's history, and I salute us in the name of the struggle. I am addressing Nigerians today that we must do everything to retrieve the stolen mandate by Bola Ahmed um, Tinubu, because we cannot have a man who is suffering from advanced dementia as the president of the Free Republic of Nigeria. If we allow this to stay, will Nigerians imagine Ebola Ahmed Tinubu addressing the United Nations and possibly as president addressing the United Nations, he will introduce himself and say, I am Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of Burkina Faso. Do you know the international damnation, the international condemnation, the international ridicule that we, I mean, uh, bring on Nigeria and Nigerians? So we must do everything to make sure that we um, restore and retrieve the people's mandate of Atiku Abubakar back to him. As I'm speaking with you, area boys in Lagos are already relocating to Abuja. There's excitement in the highland. All the bad boys, the area boys, are already planning to move to Abuja, where their grandmaster is relocating to. And I want to say, very soon you will start seeing snatching of bags, you will see snatching of phones, you will see breaking into people's cars, because area boys will invade Abuja. Marijuana will become very popular. Drugs like cocaine, heroin will be sold like pure water on the streets. And people like MC Oduomo will relocate to Abuja. And NURTW will now also take over the metropolis of Abuja. We should not allow that to happen in a sane society, in a civil society. So I call on Nigerians to say the battle to retrieve the mandate of the people, the mandate fully given to Atiku Abubakar is a battle of no retreat, no surrender. We must recover. We must recover. We must recover the people's mandate. Never should we allow a drug baron certified by the court of law to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Pablo can never be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. I remain Dino Elai.